Good evening, everybody. Welcome to the UK Wrestling Arena here in Batley. It is Friday night. It is the night before the Great British Bash, and welcome to episode 122 of Friday Night Showdown. The voice in the house with the general manager, Red Brocker. Hello. Hello. Good evening. You all right? You all right? Yeah, good evening. You excited? Oh, very. I'm you. so excited. Tomorrow, it won't be that Lucas has gone uh, a bit pear shirt. Don't give me a chance to do the intro or anything. No, I'll have to do that. Uh, you know why? Because as you've seen all week, all week, the firing squad have started the show. No, so I know it. I guess tonight's going to be no exception, Don't look right? Like it, no. Um, well, listen, but, uh, <laughs> no, listen, here he is. Yeah. And here they are. Usa, Tyler Tarantino, the women's champion Kirsty Gunn, and the main man himself, the UK Wrestling World Heavyweight Champion, the silencer Damian Black. They are the firing squad and they are kicking off Friday Night Showdown. I'm guessing you want this, don't you? I'll take this one out. Oh, Alright, have your own. That's it, you take the broken one, good lad. Yeah, I hope the battery dies. Please, that'd be funny if it don't work. That really, really, really would. The firing squad heading to the Great British Bash tomorrow. Damien Black in a six-man tag match. Kirsty Love defends her title against Leone Rose, but they stand on opposite sides of the ring in tonight's main event on Showdown. More about that in a little bit. And cuts. Ladies and gentlemen. gentlemen of Batley, you don't really deserve it, as I've said before, you're all poor and stupid, so, you know, but we, we feel bad for the poor, we feel bad for them, we're charitable, aren't we, Damien? We're a little bit. So, our glorious leader is here today to grace you all with his presence when none of you deserve it. He is the architect of the silence. And the booze that were went wild, down well, didn't it? Yeah. All week long, I have been gracing you to wrestle with my presence. All week long, I've been coming out here in front of you people and showing you. Respectful silence for your champion, thank you. So, I've been coming here all week and I've been showing everybody here what it takes. To the UK Wrestling World Heavyweight. It's English. Give it a go. The fire squad spent the last week reminding everybody in the locker room, reminding everybody sat around the ring. You think they're funny when they try to chime in. Everybody watching at home on my cameras as I stand. In my ring, holding my microphone, while my commentary team say very nice things about me. What? They want to see my good side. I feel like I'm listening to somebody else. UK Wrestling World Heavyweight Championship, surrounded by a squad of elite killers. Each yeah. and every one of them draped in gold. Each and every one of them understanding my vision for UK wrestling, each and every one of them understanding what it takes to be a part of the firing squad to stay at the top of UK wrestling. We are the firing squad. I am world heavyweight champion David Black, the silence that came quiet. We are the standard that UK wrestling needs. Uh, you like the only one. For everyone else around the ring, everyone else watching at home, who is sat in a respectful silence, you all appreciate it, you all understand it, and you all get and do what's best for you. This is the firing squad. We are UK Wrestling. Oh, thank the Lord. Oh, serious. 
There is the welcome introduction from this man. You're not kidding. No, the collective came and Carlisle has heard enough and the claptrap coming from the ring. Sorry to interrupt that amazing speech, Damien. Glad you did. No one is here to listen to you talk about things that mean, quite frankly, nothing. What they are here to hear about is what's going to happen. And what's going to happen is tomorrow night, when I leave that ring holding that dream ticket, I'm coming for you. I am not making any side stops. You are my one priority. And that around your shoulder will be mine again. Now, it's Friday night showdown. I could do with a laugh. How about we have a bit of a warm-up match ready for that competition that me and you are so desperately going to have very, very soon. What do you say, Damien? Damien, wait, 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 Damien. I don't mean to talk, I'm so sorry. I just thought that you're too good for Let me handle this. Damien Carlyle! Just like the Willy Wonka experience in Glasgow, your golden ticket is going to be severely underwhelmed Rocker, what do you think? If you want your ass kicked by me, I think you better talk to your dad and get his permission first, but I'm down with that. I can handle it, I can handle it. There you go. Uh, Mr. Mr. General Manager, is this anything for you? Is it? Anything! Well, let's, let's see here. It's called respecting the man who runs the joint. You badly people are so stupid. You will know respect if it bit your backside, would you? So you go. Right, match is on. Okay. Rest here. Do the ratch is on, so Brocker, that's enough of that. The firing squad. But, I mean, this is a little bit unfair because, like, the firing squad are also. They're not, they're going, I've just said they're going to leave. They're going to leave. Well, Damien Black, Damien Black is going to. He's taking the, uh, the match on your, on your behalf here. Ring the bell, Brocker. This thing's on. Ring the bell, but Kirsten. Come on, go on. Uther, out of here. One on one. See ya. It's going to be fair on showdown. One on one. We'll see Kirsty Love and Damien Black a little bit later in tonight's main event. But now they're leaving. Tyler Tarantino on his own. And there goes the bell, so the collective and the director one on one to kick off. Makes it a little bit surfer, oh, I'd it? say. A little, little bit, bit fairer even. It's a lot fairer. To be, to be fair, it's a lot fairer, yeah. Director is backing off here. Apparently, uh, Chris Castle's watching and he says you're abusing your power. Oh, well, he always thinks that, one not Chris, mm. you know what I mean? Whatever. Yeah. See you tomorrow. Hi, Chris. <clears throat> Bye, Chris. Thanks for watching. Thanks for everybody who's watching us on our YouTube channel this evening. Thank you. Even you, Chris. No, not even you, Chris. Not even Nobody Chris. Cares, Chris. No? Uh, all right, then. Chris Castle's tag team partner, Johan Hunt, in action tonight on Showdown. He takes on Sigma later tonight. Yes, that's going to happen that's tonight. That's going to be a good match. Yeah. Ruby Brocker, your daughter, takes on Sebastian Mercer. And that big tag team match with Kirsty Love and Damian Black against Leonie Rose and Joe Sedgwick all to come tonight. And how the hell are Tommy Dillon and the Yorkshire going to coexist? <sighs> We're going to find that, out. I think that'll be all right. Yeah, <laughs> We're going to find out later. Well. At the moment, Tyler's in, uh, in a bit of trouble here. He's coexisting on the floor, yeah. And that nice side headlock by the collective who's heading to the Great British Bash tomorrow. 30 wrestlers in there over the top rope rules. The last person standing after 29 have been thrown over the top rope wins what sat on my desk this evening. Right here. The UK Wrestling Dream Ticket. Let me show you the director's You see, this guy just he's, never, he's shuts, never shuts up. Does up. Does he's no. still got plenty of gas on him. Oh dear. If he shut up and got on with match. Well, he's, he's he saying he wants to <laughs> he wants to show the strength, but Carlisle is 
playing around with the, the director here. He's, he's toying with him, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. Oh, and now we have got the test of strength. I, I think... Who's uh, going to win this? I think Kevin's going to win this. Carlisle, the more proficient. Uh, oh, nice nicely side, done. Nice, nice side done. headlock there. I, I reckon Tyler's uh, going to have a little bit of an education. I think tonight. he is. He's getting a, a restless he's lesson. He's getting a free lesson. Yes. A free lesson off Kerman Carlisle, who's been around quite a while and knows this, this job inside out. He has. Kerman Carlisle, a UK wrestling veteran at this point. He is, though, isn't he? He is. He's been here ages. Of course he has. A bit like me. A bit like you. A bit like, a bit like me, yeah. <laughs> I've been here since the beginning of time. I said hello to Adam and Eve when I got here. Oh! You said hello to what? Adam, Adam, Adam and Eve. Yeah. I don't Adam and Eve. <laughs> yeah, but you know. And Carlisle, Adam and Eve's the fact that Tyler Tarantino is trying to run away. Who's going to win this opening match on Showdown, Brock Hill? We'll find out when we come back. Don't go anywhere. We are back live from Batley. It is Friday Night Showdown, episode 122. It's Brett Hadley and Red Brocco at ringside. It's Cayman Carlisle. Who's... And direct the director of the firing squad, Tyler Tarantino, on the outside of the ring. What's he oh, what's going on his shoulders? Where's he going with that? I don't know where he's going. Oh, he's That's dropping where him. He's going with that. Face first on the apron. Well, he's just he's just rammed his face at barriers first before that. Indeed. So, uh, he's going to have a bit of an headache, I think. Carlisle is getting beaten up, good and proper here by the director. Of course, we got rid of the firing squad. The rest of them. We'll see Kirsty Love and Damian Black in tonight's main event where they take on the prodigy, the world television champion, Joe Cedric and Leone Rose, who hopes to three-peat and win the women's championship tomorrow. I nice see do it, wouldn't it? Mm, it's not going to be easy, though. It's not. No, no, it's going to be easy, but if anybody can. It's, it's uh, Leone Rose, it certainly Definitely is. I think she can. And she's so hungry for it, so I want it, you know what I mean? She does, we'll find out. Carlisle shoots director off the ropes. Oh, and now, oh! Outlines him, drops him straight down. Tyler Tarantino getting outsmarted. Not for the first time in this match, it has to be said. A great British match tomorrow. Here we go. Carlisle came out. And first. He did come out and say his intentions were to win it. Oh, nice back suplex. To win it and go straight for Damian Black's World Heavyweight Championship. That, that's what he's chasing. Indeed. Carlisle now with an leg drop. Nicely nice executed, yeah. Nice and even when he's in pain, Tyler Tarantino doesn't he's shut up. You know it's that. Noise, it? And now, oh, the cartwheel sends on. Carlisle is rolling here on Showdown. Why is he trying to back off here now, saying I'm sorry? Oh, right to the eyes. I've seen him do this before. He just needs yeah. to oh. And now, False sense of security and does something dirty. And he's saying that's what it's all about. What? Raking people in the eyes that's and all taking... Got. That's all he's got. As, as part of the firing squad, they only got bad... Moves, they? Taking unfair advantages. That's that, what they're doing. Exactly. Guns up and action for the director who's now going to suplex... Oh. Carlisle himself, over he goes, goes down for the cover, hooks the leg, is this it? Middle of the ring, Carlisle kicks out. Carlisle is one of the more resilient people we have on our roster. As he is, though, you, you, yeah. you, never, you never write him off this man. Absolutely not. You never write somebody in the calibre of came and Carlisle off, because then you're going to get in trouble. And Carlisle's the one in trouble here you, at the you, moment. You turn your back on Carlisle, you, you know, you, you're asking for trouble, aren't you? Indeed, but at the minute, Tyler Tarantino has neutralised Carlisle, stamps on his ankle. Stamps straight on his ankle, yeah. like that's going to be so. It is, and Carlisle tomorrow, like I said, heading for the Great British Bash. We hope you are as well. You can join us tomorrow live on pay-per-view, 5 o'clock UK time. Join us by subscribing to our YouTube YouTube tier 2 subscription service, 4 99 a month. You can join me for the Great British Bash tomorrow, cannot wait. Me neither. I'm, I'm really looking forward You're ready. to tomorrow. You're I'm ready, are you? Yeah, definitely. Me too. 30 wrestlers in there with one dream ticket at the end for one lucky person. And one very, get, very lucky person, yeah. to be fair. But we'll get you know, it's, a, proper, it's, it's an opportunity of a lifetime. Proper, proper opportunity. Proper night. Really, you know what I mean? It, it's just... You can't ask for a better prize. I see, I see keep the center saying. goes the spoils. A championship match, whatever the heck they want, but that's not all to put the bash. Lots more. Oh, big elbow from Carlisle. Oh, but the director back with one of his own. Stops that. 
Now from the cover, hooks the leg again, and Carlisle has to power his way out. Tyler's getting a little bit frustrated here. It didn't work the second time either. Nice no, shouting him to get up. He'd, he'd, he'd be better off leaving him up floor, to be fair. Well, yeah, you don't want Carl. Yeah, he's, he's, you know that's that's when he's don't invite he's more some, lethal. Don't invite somebody like Carlisle to get back up. Oh no, well, last thing you want to do. And the last thing Damien Black wants is Carlisle winning that rumble tomorrow. No, because he will be chasing him. Oh, he's already admitted it. He's already said, I'm, I'm coming for you when I win it. So, you know, he's, yeah. He's giving heads up, he's told yeah, him. Yeah. But that I mean, shows how positive he is yeah. about winning, you know, the, the oh, rumble wow. in first place. Do you know Carlisle what I mean? has a very PMA. He has, though, hasn't he? Positive mental yeah, attitude. Definitely. He really does. He's, he's definitely got that. Anybody but can a see lot, that. A lot tomorrow, Brocco, <laughs> has to do with the look of the draw. I think it is though, and it is yeah. anybody's game. Tomorrow. If you get number one, you, you know, your chances of being there at the end. Are... But if you do manage to stay to the end, you're going to be pretty tired by the time yeah. that last match. Exactly, you'll have outlasted everyone. Whereas if you get like number 26 or 27 or something, you've, you, you've had a bit of time you, to rest. In back exactly, you before, and there's not going to be many more people coming out after you. No, <laughs> no. It really is the look of the draw. I will not know. Nobody will know the, the order of who's going to come out when. It's going to be a complete surprise to me. The only number we've got is yours, isn't it? No, don't start, man. I'm going to be here calling it. This is it, so I love it. Carlisle, as he's got in, the low clothesline gets two and a half. Don't start, Rocker. I'm just saying. Uh, we, we went 17 minutes without you mentioning I the fact bad, then, I? that I'm didn't not in the Great British Bash tomorrow. I'll be sat here calling you. You keep your cards close to your chest, that's fine. Oh. Cayman's knee was close to the face of uh, it were, it? Tyler yeah. Tarantino then. He's saying I can play dirty as well, and now Carlisle. Look at that! <laughs> oh, what a shame! <laughs> Isn't it? He's still do, making a noise though. His voice. Oh, what a disaster that would be! Wouldn't it just? Yeah, that's finally shut him up. I think he's knocked him out. He might have done, you know, because director Tar Tarantino is quiet. Oh, oh. so Sam says that for the first like time to me. he was quiet for like three seconds. He were. But it's not and, enough. And, you know, I think people would pay for that, you know. What, Same for him to show up? Yeah. I might have. But, uh, but he's playing a bit of possum there. Oh, big he took a big boots at first for it. And another. And another. So nice, he did it twice. Did Carlisle. Yeah. Neck breaker out the corner. Is that it? Calls over. Says, he's got on. the cover. Oh, but Once no. Once again, he kicks out. Where's he finding that energy? I mean, I hate to out? say it, but Tyler Tarantino is showing, you know, he belongs in there with Carlisle at this point. I hate to say it, but... Yeah. Why did <laughs> you? Because it's what's happened. This match has gone on <laughs> longer than what some people might well, thought yeah, think it I would. Think a lot of people might have thought it would be oh, another. Here, Carlisle there saying he's going to send a message to Damien Black. That oh, oh, man. Is that going to be that, it? That could be it. I think it is. No, it's not. Wow. The maybe maybe he did allow himself to be pinned. Maybe, maybe he's, you know, frightened of the... Well, the repercussions. Yeah, backstage. Like. Yeah, you imagine if you had to go back to Damien Black and mm. say, well, sorry, sir. Sorry, I boss, it's like yeah. this. Yeah, it was too good for me. Imagine that. <laughs> 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 it would be a conversation I'd want to have with the World Heavyweight Champion. Yeah. Let's put it that way. I don't know. Like oh, oh, looking for the Claire Mill, but... Director Tyler Tarantino is going to counter this. Oh, oh right across wow. the knee. And yeah. now, on the face, could it be a monumental upset? Tyler Tarantino is almost oh, beaten. How close were that? Came and Carlisle. That was incredibly close. It was really close, too close for comfort for Came and that. Carlisle was milli milliseconds away from losing to one of the firing squad here. Carlisle's still firmly behind Cayman though, just shouting him on. Now, oh, for the final oh, cut, now Carlisle rolls, rolls up Tarantino, oh, rolls him through, and now picks him up. Here it comes, is here it. is the, oh! He hit the, oh, he's hurt his knee. He couldn't do it. On that knee. Yeah, he was looking for hyperdrive, but he couldn't do it. Carlisle has really hurt his knee there, and that's not good. That's not good at all. Not at all. Kerman don't want to be going in there tomorrow with an injury like that. No. He needs, he needs ice on that when he's, uh, when he's done in here tonight. If he wants to if he gets back up, everybody, is... yeah, he's back to his feet. Oh. oh, he kicked Tyler Tarantino in the head. That, that would, Maybe would, he was shot. playing possum. Uh, do you think he might have been? I think he might have been playing Tarantino at his own game. And Tarantino's lights just got dim with that kick. 
I think mine did. I think and I now, felt that for him. Here comes. Is he going to hit it? Is he going to get he it? Is. He is. The Carlisle cutter right on the head. There we go. Tyler Tarantino is down and out. And now he's fired. Go explain that one, Tyler. Here is your winner, the collective Cayman Carlisle. Yeah, go back to uh, Damien Black and explain that. Yeah, yeah, that I wouldn't mind being a fly on wall for this one. Yeah, that'd be interesting. Carlisle has the positive momentum heading into tomorrow. Is it his destiny to win what is sat at the side of me and you, Mr. Brock? I'll tell you now, if he comes in as positive as he has tonight, he's got a good lot. shot. He's going to take some stuff. Who are you? Who's going to bet against somebody like that? Not me, no. Not me, no. I've seen that. Sir. Carlisle with a big victory tonight on Showdown. And Tyler Tarantino well, has Tyler, to. Tyler just pushed referee Sam over there, you know what I mean? Out of anger. Yeah. That, you know, that's... He's angry, he's frustrated, but that's nothing it's... compared to what's going to meet him when he gets back to the uh, the locker room of the firing squad. Like I said, fly up wall. Yeah, I'd yeah. love to be there. I would too, but I'm not going to be there because I'm staying here after the break. Who beats me? Oh, go away. The Genesis champion. Go away. Come on. Goodbye. Uh, let me get on with my job, you buffoon. Anyway, t tomorrow on the pre-show, we're going to have Tommy Dillon versus the Yorkshireman. But tonight, Tommy Dillon and the Yorkshireman are going to team up. Yes. How's this going to happen? Well, how's this going to work? They're, they're going to team up. They're, they're going to have to do something out of it. They are, because they're going up They're going to want to win, whether they're gonna go know, up, they like though. each other or not. They're going to go up, though, against the team who are heading to tomorrow, the Great British Bash, to take on the UK Wrestling Tag Team Champions. Jonathan Cedric and Mustafa Khan I'm talking about the undeniable around the clock champion from Wednesday Night Mayhem the undeniable attraction Eben Knight and doing it for England sketch tonight they are taking on Tommy Dillon and the Yorkshireman yeah. how the hell are they going to get along I don't, well, I don't know I don't know well we're all going to find out together we're, we're you know why this is next it is yeah. it's coming up after this break showdown comes back with tag team action in just a moment stay right there we are back in the room. It is Friday Night Showdown live from Batley. It's Brett Hadley and Red Brocco. And yes, at the Destiny this evening, we have the Dream Ticket, That's everybody. That's what it's all about, guys. This is, what it's, this is heavy. Yeah, and it's got this some is, weight about it. has got some it. weight about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Tomorrow, 29 people will fail. One person will win this and win a title opportunity of their choosing Certainly tomorrow. Not. And I am not in the Rumble. Well, number 24, just, Mr. I'm Brett not. Adley. I'm just Put telling you. Put money on Mr. Brett Adley. Don't, because, because she might do it. No. It could be the dark horse in this competition. Look, I'll say this one more time. If you go and bet money on me, you'll lose your money because I'm not in it. Only we'll ever bet what you can afford to lose, eh? Yeah, it <laughs> won't happen, I'm sorry. But somebody will win this lovely dream ticket tomorrow and get a title opportunity of their choice. Somebody tomorrow could leave there with the dream ticket, the Around the Clock Championship, and the Tag Team Championship. If he's in the Rumble. If he's in the Rumble, yeah. If he is. Yeah. We're talking about the guy who's going to come out here in a minute. Imagine yeah, that. I know. How, you know, you think he's insufferable as it is. Just imagine. I know. I'm, uh, it, it does worry me, to be fair. <laughs> <laughs> it could happen. But how is this going to... I just can't wait to see how this is going to work. This Should is we do it? Yeah, come let's, on. Uh, go on let, then, let's do let's it. get him in. Ladies and gentlemen, your next contest on Showdown is a tag team match. Set for one fall. Introducing first... How are these guys going to get along? Oh, we're going to find out in a minute. You know, these guys get along, though. These get on. Right, well, yeah, you reasonably that, okay. That, you know, I'm a bit doubtful after oh, last yeah. week. Well, here they are. Look, hang on. That's not That's not his belt, no, right? It's not what he's got, though. No. Go well, get used to that, son. They'll want it back tomorrow. Introducing first the team of doing it for England. Scare! UK Wrestling Mayhem Around the Clock Champion, the undeniable attraction, Evan Knight. Last week, Evan Knight and Sketch stole that tag team championship belt 
from Jonathan Sedgwick. More, more Evan Knight than Sketch, to be fair. But, well, yeah. You know, that is not Evan Knight's belt. Well, one of them is. One of them is. One is. Yeah, one is at the moment. But tomorrow it could be. It could be. But it could be. I want county chickens. And introducing their opponents. Yeah, one of them is Evan Knight's belt, and he's held that for 272 days. A long time. A long time. I just wish he was, you know, a bit of a better attitude about it, because I mean, he's a brilliant wrestler, I really do. It's not going to happen. Don't tell him I said Hey, Brocker! Don't tell him I said Brocker! Come on. What time is it? Um, is it Yorkshire time? Let's Yorkshire! Introducing first, the Yorkshire Man! Damn right, this is. Damn right. But his tag team partner is somebody who he's been having a bit of a, a war of words with, a war of actions with. We're on about this guy. These guys do not like each other. Yeah. To be fair, Tommy Dillon doesn't like many people, is this? Tommy Dillon doesn't like anybody. Yeah. What's up, Ah, What's up? his tag team partner, the Wild Card. Dylan is coming out here trying to get the the crowd to cheer well, for him. Want to, hey, because of all the, the facing, well, he's actually got a chance of getting a cheer. Yeah, you think, well, maybe, maybe, yeah. Uh, on a normal night, it won't happen. But maybe tonight, you know, oh, oh, cannot tonight. Anything can happen tonight and tomorrow. The Great British Bash. These two guys are going to be in it to win it, no doubt. Oh, definitely. That's what you're here for. Well, here we go. We're going to see if the auctionman and Tommy Dillon can get along for at least a few minutes here when they take on Evan Knight and Sketch Evan Knight heading for uh, Tag Team he's Championship. He's already tagged himself in. He, he has. Tag Team Chapman Dillon's already tagged himself in. You're yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Evan Knight and Sketch heading for an opportunity. He was yeah, he's not. He's suddenly <laughs> he's not. Heading for that opportunity tomorrow against Cedric and Mustafa Khan. What is Evan Knight doing? He's just trying to get in his head already. He's poking the bear, that's what he's doing. And that's not a good idea. I no. always say it. Don't poke the bear. No. Tommy this Dillon. is going to be one of them matches, I think. Yeah. We might even get some wrestling involved. Oh, here it comes. There we go. <laughs> I'll just call her an elbow tie up. Tommy Dillon, the more experienced of the two, Evan Knight, still in his wrestling infancy, yeah, to be he's fair. He's been around a long time, as Tommy Dillon has, yeah. But. And Evan, remember this. Though. Seems like he's been around a long time. He does, yeah. But remember, remember this. Sorry, go on. Tommy Dillon has, in the past, won the Sea yes. Dream ticket. Yeah, because he was on about it on Wednesday yeah. um, on commentary, and um, I did ask him how ah. did it go when he won it. Not, well, that and was the wrong thing to do because it didn't work out too well for him. I, well, we went to break, <laughs> so he never told me. Uh, well, I'll tell you. He cashed it in on the World Championship match on the same yeah. night, and he lost. So, I, I you know, that, I, know that, uh, yeah. I just wanted him to tell me. You know, mm. I'll tell you. I didn't instead. want to get a reaction or like No, of course you didn't. we go, it's all over. You oh, did want a reaction. You live for the reactions, bro. I don't know what you mean. No, I do know what you mean. You, you lost, know exactly what me. I mean. You lost me again. Yeah, I right. Have a night rolled up here with a two count by Dylan. <laughs> oh, oh, that oh, big, big boot. Boots, yeah. And no. another. Have a night is on the roll of his life. 272 days with that mayhem around the clock championship. <laughs> I know. Is that deal still in place? Apparently. If he gets to 300 days, which is less than a month away, yeah, all right. he gets to become the general manager of yeah, right, Wednesday Night yeah, 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 for yeah, a week. Yeah, we got it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You just don't yeah. want to think about okay. that, do you? No. <laughs> it's rapidly approaching. Oh! Yorkshireman is in. Oh! oh. York is off. Evan Knight needs to <laughs> swart the attack of the Yorkshireman who's clotheslining him down. Clothesline there. Sent him down. And listen to this, we've got a shout off. We've got a for Yorkshire, for England, chant going off there. Uh, yeah. Uh, it was an yeah. excuse to do it. It was. Have a night out <laughs> the corner, though. Oh, in which the uh, uh, Yorkshire went into the corner of Sketch and Knight. He's supposed to Sketch. Yeah, but he but got distracted long enough. Yeah, that, that's the problem, you see. So many distractions in this game. There is a lot. Still to come this evening, we will see Sebastian Mercer who has to take on Sigma tomorrow. Who's already beaten him twice, just saying, uh, against your flesh and blood, Ruby Rocco, tomorrow, uh, tonight even, right, yeah. before Mercer faces Sigma. Tomorrow, Sigma in action tonight. 
against Johan Hunt. Indeed, that'll be good. Eben Knight with a massive kick to the back of the Yorkshire and Nisa also in action tonight. Surely can't be 100% after what happened to her the other night. No, she, we, we did say uh, she had a bit, mm. of a bit of a nightmare match. Yeah, she's in there tonight with Lucy and tonight's main event tag team action, Leonie Rose and Joe Cedric against Kirsty Love and Damian Black. So All that to correct. come tonight on Showdown. We spoil you. We do, don't we? Yeah. yeah. What, what, you, you, really know, do. You, can't, you can't get this anywhere else. No. Every week we spoil you people. Three times a week, normally. Washerman in the wrong part of town. In comes Sketch. Yeah. And oh, steam. Sketch Here he comes. Is oh, he's a quick cat, is Sketch. <laughs> One more time. Nearly ran into Tommy Dillon on the way. Third he, time's the he, charm he for Sketch. He himself nice and short. He didn't Have a look go at Evan Knight. Tagged himself Tommy. back in quickly. Evan Knight with a face yeah, wash. Oh, time. there he is. Uh, is he trouble is York? Yeah, yeah, that could be the next tag team champions you're looking at. We'll find out tomorrow at the Great British Bash when they take on the incomparable Jonathan Cedric and the Persian powerhouse himself, the king of the knockouts, the Sultan of Slams, Mustafa Khan. For all those tag team titles, Sketch is back in on the inside, but the Yorkshire will try to fight off. Oh. Throws Evan Knight to the outside and catches, catches Sketch in midair. Yeah. Oh! It's all over. The well, strongest slam, but the Yorkshire oh, needs to now get he's... over to Dylan. Look at Dylan. Why did he go for the cover? He should have stayed put. He could have got the cover, but Dylan is itching to get back in. <laughs> Dylan with his hand outstretched. I'm quite surprised how, how well oh. they've got on here, they, to they be fair. Well. And now, oh, oh, hang on a minute. Yeah. <laughs> we might have known. Oh, we should have known. Have known. Dylan has just dropped down. The Yorkshireman looks befuddled and Dylan has played the Yorkshireman like a fiddle. Well, it'll suit. It will it'll suit oh, Dylan. If, if Yorkshire the night's is not blessing. Up to it tomorrow, won't it? Oh, no. The night's blessing. And now, right on his face, Dylan is walking away and the Yorkshireman is walking into the battle loser. And he's, Dylan got everybody. He just, he's seen that as it were worth the loss. Yeah. To, to stitch Yorkshireman up. It was a set oh. that's what that was. Yeah, I thought it was going so well. Here are your winners, the team of the undeniable attraction, Evan Knight and Sketch. Am I going to be saying that tomorrow, but before it, am I going to be saying a new UK Wrestling Tag Team Champion? Next Tag Team Champions, that's who you're looking at, baby! Is it going to be the future? We'll find out tomorrow at the Great British Bash. And Evan Knight and Sketch take on Jonathan Cedric and Mustafa Khan and the Yorkshireman. And Tommy Dillon on the pre-show. And now the Yorkshireman knows he certainly can't trust. No, he knows now, doesn't he? Always, uh... He found out the hard way. He can't trust that wild card. And De tomorrow he not. gets his chance for revenge yeah. against Tommy Dillon. Yeah, tomorrow he said it's going to happen. Join us from 5pm UK time for the Great British Bash pre-show where you will see that match. And let the fireworks begin. And then the Yorkshireman will not be happy. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, possibly not. And they will be in the Great British Bash where the aim is to lob each other over the top rope. Immortality awaits along with this dream ticket. Yes, I'm going to keep showing it. Yeah, why? Well, that's somebody, what it's for. somebody tomorrow, I'm going to read you what it says on the back of it. It says, this dream ticket admits the holder one championship opportunity whenever they choose. That is the enormity of the prize. It's a good little contract that to have, isn't it? They get to choose a championship. Championship match against whoever they want, whenever they want. Please, right, whoever wins it, don't waste it. Don't Use waste it. Wisely. Will it be it either right. of the people who are coming up after the break? Will it be oh, your gosh. flesh and blood? You never know. Will it be Ruby Brocco? Could be anybody. I hope Will it, it be the Emerald Bruiser, Sebastian Mercer? We'll find out. Those two throw it down on Showdown right after this. Don't go away. We're back in the room in Batley. We are. UK Wrestling and we're here for the Great British Bash weekend it comes your way tomorrow get your tickets still if you want to come down and join us tomorrow ukwrestling.tv be well worth a night yes. out won't it it is come and join us it's going to be fun yeah. 30 person over the top rope rumble will it be one of these two winning it mm. no. it's going to be a long night for uh, I told Sebastian Mercer though because before he gets in the bash he has to face the person who's already beaten him twice yeah, and mm. I think he's a bit worried about it. I so think so. We'll I'm see sure Sigma a little bit later, but now let's get him out here. Yeah, come on. 
Your next contest on Showdown is a singles match set for one fall. Introducing first. Mercer has had the worst look of his career against the young upstart Sigma. Tomorrow, though, he looks to right the wrongs and then go on to deliver 29 bruisings in the rumble. And look there. He, he, didn't give, he didn't give Sigma the respect that he deserved. Oh, he sure does and, now. I just assumed they were going to do it. And it hit him twice. And he got him twice. Could be Introducing two times. first, he is the Emerald Bruiser, Sebastian Mercer. Oh, listen to them boos. Listen to the boos ring out in battle. Wow. And ring out they did. God. And his opponent. So he just said, this is for last week, Rocco. Last I week, him, really. Mercer was here on commentary with us all night, and you two were bickering like an old married couple. That's what you were doing. Go on, Ruby, go get him. You were bickering away all night, that's what. And introducing Ruby Barocco. Ruby with a much more favourable reaction from our audience this evening. Two ex-Genesis champions in the centre. Indeed! Two of the longest running Genesis champions we ever had, of course. The current Genesis champion we saw we earlier on. We don't really want to talk about No, well, we're going to talk about him because we saw him get his mouth shut up by Kevin yeah, Carlisle. Yeah, well, good. That will well, you know. I understand that we did catch up. With, you know why you were saying you wanted to be a fly on the wall? Right. Apparently, cameras did follow Tyler uh, Tarantino. Right. Yeah. yeah. You're going to love this. To the dressing room of the firing squad. I will show you what happened a little bit later, all right? Yeah, that's You will cool. get your wish. We're going to find out together later. I am most interested to see how Damien Black reacted to that happening. You'll find out later. I can't wait for that. <laughs> Not before we got through this though, yeah, Sebastian Mercer and Ruby Brocco. Ruby can do. One on one here on Showdown Mercer, of course. Oh, reacting oh, the to the boy yeah, they're off. Yeah. they love it, don't they? <laughs> he absolutely hates it, I'll tell you. It know, really winds him up. Oh. Ruby's got to be careful though. Yeah. Mercer though, is he focused too much on Sigma tomorrow? Is well, he going to take his eye? Is he going to take his eye off the ball here? Uh, well, he could do. You know what he's like. He does that a lot, doesn't he? Yep. And it's well, that's it. yeah, what he did to Sigma the first time, and then the second time. He just got beat fair and square. There's nothing more to it. But he wants another bite at the cherry. Oh, no, he's pulling air. Look. Oh, the flowing locks of Ruby Brocco getting pulled by Mercer, who's now going to roll through, bridge out, roll round, see, and reverse. See, that's a great he's, technical yeah, wrestling yeah, no, move. He's a wrestler, isn't he? You know yeah. what I mean? Why can't he just be like that? You know, I'm just no, no, because he has satisfied uh, with all that. No, he is very proficient. He's one of the best yeah. we have. He's one go. of the best up and comers in the country. Ruby's no slouch so either. Oh no, absolutely not. <laughs> But Mercer's been all over and Mercer yeah. gets to now the ropes. Now that's not the way to get out of a move, is it? What, get to the ropes? Yeah. Stick your leg on. Oh, but look at that. Yeah, straight, yeah. Unfair He's, advantage. This is what I'm saying, you know, he can't, he can't help himself. He, he can't, can't help keep himself. keep it clean for more than two moves. You are quite right. But it's brought him a degree of success apart from against Sigma. <laughs> uh, keep bringing it up, but it's true. It's what happened. We'll see Sigma in action later. You, yes. Oh, it crisscrossed. Right over the feet. Uh, right off the feet goes Ruby, and now Mercer wiping his feet. Goes up and over. Ruby Brocco tries a clothesline. Is, uh, Mercer oh, but a hip toss. I wonder she learned that from you. From, yeah, no. yeah, I wonder. The master of the hip toss is sat at the side of me. Yeah, Ruby right. Brocco with the cartwheel in the corner. Beautiful. Nice. She didn't learn that from you, though, did she? Um. Or did you? Oh, I've never seen you do a cartwheel though, I'm just saying. Well, I, I don't cartwheel much these now, days. Oh, I used to. Did you do a drop kick like that as well? I used to drop kick. Did yeah. you? Oh! There's lots of things I used to do, Brett, you mm. know. Like not wind me up about being we, in the British we bash. We still do yeah. bits, you know, at home, you know, we just yeah. coffee table, Mrs. Brocko goes, mate. I bet she does. How many coffee tables have we gone We've through? We broke a couple. I bet you have, uh, yeah. But it's fun in the Brocko household. Yeah. Off the ropes comes Mercer. Catches, oh, Ruby Brocco in midair. And no foot pick. <laughs> oh no. Yeah. Two and a half, She's not enough. Mercer thought he was three, it wasn't. Mercer does a lot of thinking, doesn't he, instead he of getting on with it, you know what I mean? But anyway. He's now getting all of that, the foot right in the shoulder of Brocco's draped over the top rope. 
I mean, somebody like from the left field, like Mercer, could well win that dream ticket tomorrow, you know. He could, or Ruby yeah, Bracco like, could win it. Like we say, anybody could. Anybody. Any, any one of you could. But not me. I'm not in it, for God's sake. Are you in it, Brocker? Ruby's sucking a bit of a... Uh, don't detract there. from no. my uh, my question. Just no, no, I left it long no. now. Very coy, aren't you, Mr. Brocker? Here we go. Mercer, now, with a suplex out of the corner. And Brocker getting a wrestling education here by the Emerald Bruiser, who hooks the leg. Tight cover, but only gets two. And we know Mercer is very good, we keep saying it, he is. Yeah, he is. You can't, you can't doubt it, I just don't really like can't. his attitude. It's his attitude is all wrong, you know what I mean? And yeah, but he's, he's full of that. He's full of it. Tomorrow, though, he's got to keep his eye on Sigma and then focus on being in that Dream Ticket Rumble as he's got Ruby over the ropes here, breaks at the last possible minute. Admonishing the referees, saying, look, it's I know the, the rules. It, it's no good getting it referees first. He's just doing his yep. job, Is Sam. Uh, Let's I wouldn't want to be the referee. Oh, but Brocco gets a oh, moment to recover. Off the ropes one more time. He needs, he needs a moment, you know. Mercer doesn't go down. Mercer oh, misses a clothesline. Brocco didn't miss that, though. And again. Keep on it, Ruby. She's got to. Oh, big, big boo. Ah, she's got him. Brocco with a suplex ah. right on his face. Nice. Go for the cover, Ruby. No, instead, she's going to go over and hit yeah, the cartwheel smash. Oh, is this going to be it? Is she going to beat Mercer? No, that was close. Imagine so if Mercer close. lost again tonight. Can you, can you, he's going to give me a rank can first for when he comes out. Can you imagine? <laughs> can you imagine? Oh, my God. Ruby Brocco now is looking to put Mercer away, but Mercer fights oh, back, back right elbows back. all. Yeah. Which side of Mercer oh, coming on. out? Equal opportunities. Sebastian Mercer doesn't care if you're a man or a woman, he's gonna hurt you. Up he goes, oh, on a red, oh my god. Mercer might have, oh, that's gonna be it, no! Rocco kicked out somehow. I don't know how. I'm not really sure how either. Clue. Really ain't got a clue. Mercer can't believe it. He can't believe it, but the shoulders there's, were up. There's a up. good friend of mine sat down there in the audience There's right a good now. friend of mine down there and, as well. And, you know. He know, can't believe it either. He couldn't believe it either. No, and now Mercer might be looking for the MCR, but oh, the butterfly, no. Maybe Brocco's trying to fight out of this. She's trying to fight. She's, she's, she's trying a good fight, and that's one thing. Well, one more time, powerbomb, no. Mercer, oh, cool, oh, the yes. slam. Oh, that might have the wind out of him. Oh, my oh. God. <laughs> How close was that? Yeah, that's going here, Brett. I might have to Brocco's go over getting a little bit this. excited. Ruby Brocco was a millisecond away from beating the Emerald Bruiser here on Showdown. She really don't care who she goes on with, you know. No. Ruby doesn't she care does. either. Oh, Mercer out the back door, kicks her in the midsection. This time, he's going to hit the M. Oh, he got it this time. That's going to oh, work. Man. That's gonna work. Is that it? Has Brocco got anything left? Not on this night. Not this time. What a oh, move. Yeah. Oh, what a match. Good match. Really good match. It was. Well, Mercer finally has some positive vibes going into tomorrow. I suppose he needs it for tomorrow. He really does. He does. Here is your winner, the Emerald Bruiser, Sebastian Mercer. He's going to have a busy old night tomorrow first. He has to try and vanquish the demons that have haunted him for the past few weeks. We're talking about the Abruptstart Sigma, who we will see later on tonight on Showdown. And then he aims to become the owner of this dream ticket that sat on my desk when he enters that rumble I tomorrow. I thought quite a good match, yes, but a good vital match for him. So yeah, I've not doubted that for a minute. There you go. Mercer outlasts Ruby Brocco tonight on Showdown, but it was a good one. It was a good one. Kudos to Ruby Brocco, lives to fight another day. Proud father sat like sweet, uh, at the side of me. And Mercer now, yeah, has to try and focus. We'll see Sigma in action tonight on Friday Night Showdown. He takes on, yes, your friend of mine, not. The man raised with freaking wolves. It will be Johan Hunt of the Empire tonight against Sigma. There you Freaking go. Wins. No, Wolves. Wins. We had that last week. Let's not talk about that. <laughs> That's <laughs> what I heard in my ear. Yeah, I bet it is. Uh, Where's the Freaking Wolves? Johan Hunt against Sigma a little bit later. Don't forget tonight's main event. 
Joe Cedric and Leone Rose yeah, teaming start. up uh, yeah, against Damian Black, the world heavyweight champion, and Kirsty Love, the women's champion. Of course, tomorrow Kirsty Love defends her title on day 273 of her title reign <laughs> against <laughs> Leone Rose. It's not bad, you know, no, is it? No, no. No. And Damian Black, Usa, and Tyler Tarantino take on NR Joe, NR Joe, Joe Cedric, and Hamza Masawa, and momentum of NRG tomorrow. At the Great British Bash, do not miss that. Now, if you saw Monday Night Ignite this week, you I saw no you were here at the desk. You saw the first hour of Pakistani women's wrestler in UK wrestling needs to take a bit of a kick in. Yeah, I would have been. Yeah, uh, from the nice, very one, one <laughs> nice to witness. To be it fair. wasn't nice to see back yeah. on video either, but the. Uh, very dangerous, Anna just decimated Nisa. We'll see how Nisa is because she's in action against Lucy right after this break. Showdown 122 is back in just a minute. Stay right where you are. Oh, oh, we're back in the room. I've put my yeah, thumbs down. All right, okay, fair enough. Uh, we're back. It's Friday Night Showdown. It's Red Brocco. It's The Voice. We are here 24 hours, less than 24 hours before the Great British Bash comes your way tomorrow. Cannot wait. I uh, and like I said before, it really has. Like I said before the break, if you saw Monday Night Genesis Ignite this week, you saw Nisa get a little bit of a... Yeah. She had an encounter. Well, she got carried out, to be Let's fair. just say that with Anna. Uh, tonight, though, she's got a focus. She's got another match. We saw her on the pre-show. She's got plenty of focus. She's got she? plenty of focus, mm. and she looked a little bit ticked off on that pre-show earlier she on when we, said, when we heard well, from can, her. You can't fault her, can you, really? I would be you would be, wouldn't you? I would be ticked off too. Yeah, yeah. That's one word for it. Let's find out if it's uh, going to carry her to a victory right here on Shadow. Should we do it? Yeah, come on. Let's do it. Let's See do what it. she can Let's do. Let's do it. Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is set for one fall. Introducing first. Plenty yeah. of booze, plenty more where they come from, I think. And introducing her opponent. And there's no way in my mind that Nisa can be 100%. Uh, it, it, it's got to be, you know, you've got to think that way, really. After what she took. I know, yeah. But I'm sure she'll come out here and give it her all. Always does. She'll give as good as she can get. Give. Introducing the opponent. Nisa! That's the thing with these people, they give as good as they get. It's true. But is Nisa anywhere near 100%? We'll soon find out, Brett. We will, because the bell is about to ring on Friday Night Showdown. Sure Sam tells me. Checking everybody over. Here we go. Don't forget. Still to come, Damien Black and Kirsty Love, the champs. Oh, here they've been here all week, they'll be here tomorrow. At the Great British Bash, but they're here they tonight will. on Showdown against Joe oh. Cedric and Leonie Rose tonight. And still to come, Johan Hunt and Sigma. One on one tonight. Yeah, Sigma's going to want that win tonight just he to, is. you know, get into Mercer's head, if not else. Indeed. Mercer with that victory a moment, a moment ago against Ruby Brocco. Yeah, well, they'd be pleased with that win. I mean, I wish it'd have been a different result, obviously, like, but anyway, she's okay, yeah. and that's what matters. Sends Nisa off. So, Nisa ducks the clothesline. And Nisa, oh, collides with Lucy. They're both down. Now, I'm just reading the uh, the YouTube comments. All right, okay. Mm. Oh, good. Uh, oh, yeah, there's a pearler here from Chris Castle. Oh, dear. <clears throat> Is he still watching? I told him to go away. He's still watching, no. And he's saying that if I get in the rumble tomorrow, like if I, me, 
Yeah. If you know, right, if you get in that ring tomorrow, I'm throwing you out. It's the least that I owe you. Now, won't that be funny? No. If, if you threw him out. Yeah, but the, the problem yeah, but, with that. Yeah. The problem with that. There's is, no problem with that. There would. Hang on. Oh, bulldog from Nisa. Bulldog's the problem out. is, I would have to be a participant in the match. Yeah. Number and, twenty-four. And anyway. I'm not. So it will not happen. But watch thanks, your back, Chris. Thanks That's for the sentiments, can, Chris. You buffoon. <laughs> anyway, back to the action. And there we go. It's Lucy <laughs> in there and Lucy. Lucy's just took uh, Lisa out. Uh, Make it out to everybody watching, by the way. Thank you for joining us. Yeah, thanks for joining us. <laughs> except for Chris. Everybody else. Apart thanks from Chris, for yeah. It's nice to know you there. Yeah. It's Freddie Flair watching tonight. You know, if you're in there, Brocco, I want you to throw Castle out. If what? You're in there. I'm in there. If you're in there, if you enter the match, I want you to throw Castle out. All right. Personal mission there. Well, it'll be too late. You've done it already, won't you? Anyway. I'm not going to be in there. You know what's Wait, going on? Wait, Rick might do it anyway. Wait, oh, don't down. even go there. You no. know what? I hope Castle gets number one. That'd be funny. It would, wouldn't it? Yeah. Well, he reckons he's the hardest working man, hasn't he? <laughs> anyway. if, he, if he had to uh, outlast 29 other people, maybe he might earn the moniker of being the hardest working man in UK wrestling. Maybe. He's, he's, he's got a lot to prove in my eyes, but he anyway. Has. Somebody is going to enter number one, though, tomorrow. It could Somebody be Nisa. Could be Nisa could go in the yeah. Rumble tomorrow. Nisa, Lucy could as well. I bet she's opening it, isn't her? Uh, no, Nisa oh. rolls up and over. Rolls Sunset up. flip. She's, she's got, got Lucy, her. though, only one. Oh, she's got her hair, referee. Lucy right to the face. And yeah, whoever gets number one tomorrow is going to be in the worst position possible, and number two, to be fair. Because they would have to outlast 28 other people. Every 90 seconds, we'll get another wrestler in the ring tomorrow. Until yeah, Victor yeah, goes yeah. the spoils. Do you, remember, do you remember what happened last year? Remind me. Well, Mustafa vacated his position because he won the title. Yes, so correct. So. Oh, so gosh, So I came yeah. out to announce there would be no... I think you were number four. I'm sure we're going to be number ah, four. Ah, I remember oh, that. What Who entered? Then? What happened then? It was... Uh, what what's happened then? No, but what happened before that? What's his, oh, I'm going to lose you. The massive... Kid. Nisa might be out. Nisa's nowhere near 100% oh, here. She's not. Yeah, she's she's certainly not now. No. She's, well, she's kicked out. She's kicked out. Chris Castle is uh, saying that he's going to be number 30. <laughs> Well, it's all down to the look of the draw, which will happen Castles. earlier in the day. You will get your chance, Mr. Castle. <clears throat> so back to it, I got whacked mm. with a chair. And Paul Hubris entered did. himself. If you Correct, remember. Paul Hubris was in that last year. I'll never forget that. Maybe to my knowledge, he's not going to be in it this year, but you never know. We will have, some, tell, can we will have some surprises tomorrow, I'm sure we will, yeah. Oh, can I? Anything literally can happen at the Great British Bash, apart from me being in it. As well as you'll be. That's not happening, Brocker. Lucy with an Irish rip here. Nisa well, struggling a little in. bit, but out the Nisa's way. Gone. She didn't move out the way. Arm dragged by Nisa. Over. Over and again. Lucy one more time here on Friday Night Showdown. Big clothesline. See, Nisa is still going here with a boot. Nisa's found a little bit of oh, a bit of energy from a little bit of something. Legs across the go. chest of that... Lucy and almost here. Oh, hang on. Oh, oh is that no? That is yeah, that's oh, the yeah. oh no. Oh, she's here. We talked about what happened on Monday night with Anna, and she's here. And distracting right Nisa, who's no doubt going to want some it. revenge. But from behind, Lucy takes advantage, oh. rolls up Nisa too, and gets her. And Anna clapping and smiling away about it. Anna and still, she's just still wanting it. Yeah. A, a piece of Nisa, isn't she? She's still she's wanting just to get stuck her it. Right. And did you hear what she just said back? She said that. She went, I'm not done with you. But why? What, I what's don't know what her beef her? is. I don't know. She don't run to her life. I don't get it, mate. I've got no idea what the beef is, but I do know that Nisa just got well, rolled up and pinned. Yeah, because once again, she allowed herself to be distracted Indeed. by Anna. Anna is dangerous, you know? That's that's a word, yeah, that's a word. Dangerous is what Anna yeah, is. We'll go with dangerous if you want. Mm. You what, sorry? We'll go with dangerous if you want. Oh. Well... 
I don't, I don't, uh, Nisa will want revenge. She will, I think. Yeah, this is an ongoing uh, saga, is this? It is. Uh, this Everything is, is a saga. Long. It's all she a saga. Yeah, UK it. wrestling is a one big saga, to be fair. It's a good saga. No <laughs> it is a great saga. We're here every Best week. Monday, to be. I not want Monday to be anywhere night, else. Genesis Ignite, Wednesday Night Mayhem, and Friday Night Showdown each week. Tomorrow, the Great British Bash. Live. 5pm UK time, the pre-show will feature Tommy Dillon, who just... Walked out on his partner earlier on. Left him, didn't he? That's it. See ya, I'm off. See ya. Out, I'm yeah, gone. he knew exactly what he was doing. I'm sorry. Oh, he did, definitely. Did. All that, though. All that energy he was shouting, come on, come on, tag me, tag he me. He knew what he when was When he got near, he gets out and goes. He yeah. knew what he you was doing. You're on your own, you're yeah. off. Yorkshire sure went and Tom Dillon on the pre show, and then the main show starts at six. Can Kirsty Love keep that women's title for another day? Tomorrow she reaches 273 days as UK Wrestling Women's Champion. I think, yeah, I, think if she, I think she's got a fight on her hand. If, uh, she has. Leonie Rose wants, Leonie comes with it. Uh, she know, wants to be the game first face woman. On. She will have the game face on. She wants to be the first woman to three peat and become three time women's champion. Yeah. She gets one more shot tomorrow. She deserves it, I think. She deserves it, yeah, but she's gonna have to. But she's gotta do it. She's gotta she's prize got... that title away from the Banshee Queen. Yeah, and she's not gonna wanna let it go too easy. She, do you know what it's I mean? It's not gonna be easy. She's gonna be. That's to come tomorrow. We'll see the third installment, the trilogy, reaches its conclusion. Sebastian Mercer takes on the guy who's gonna come up after this break, Sigma. Can he do it? UK Wrestling Tag Team Championships on the line. Jonathan Cedric and Mustafa Khan defend against Evan Knight and Sketch. Shall I do it? Doing it for England! And England are playing football tomorrow as well. It's apropos. Can Sketch and Knight upset the CEO and the Persian powerhouse? There's only one way to find out tomorrow. And I don't, who is going to do it? I, I don't think that Jonathan and stuff is going to let that go. Rocker, who Jeez. is going to take this from my hands tomorrow? I know, you might be putting it in your own hands, mate. Who is going to win this? The UK Wrestling Dream Ticket contract for a championship opportunity whenever you want. You know what, Rocker? It does look quite nice. Does, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. I think, you know, if you want it, I think maybe don't, don't jump in and go for something straight away. I'd stick what? that on mantelpiece for a couple of weeks, wouldn't you? You think? Yeah. Stick it on my mantelpiece. Yeah. Have you got a big mantelpiece? No. It's quite heavy, is that? It's quite full. Oh, yeah, Unfortunately. So push everything off and put it in the middle. Unfortunately, there's no room for it, so what? I'm going to let somebody else take it. All right. Then. Fair enough. Tomorrow, one of 30, we'll get that dream ticket, though, and get to take it home and then cash it in for a championship opportunity whenever the heck they want but if you are listening don't waste it no think about it and think about it. it put it to good use think about it thinking about going to break now because after on, this Sebast- uh, so- I was going to say Sebastian Mercer's opponent for tomorrow Sigma will be here when he takes on Johan Hunt when showdown continues don't go away we are back. It is Friday Night Showdown live from the heart of West Yorkshire and the beautiful UKW Arena here in Batley. And uh, yes, tomorrow, the, the one of the young men who's coming out here gets to see if he can beat... Camera's gone. Oh, the camera's gone. Camera's oh, great. Gone. Uh, he gets to see if he can beat Sebastian Mercer for the third time in about six weeks. Well, it happened once. Do you know what? It happened twice. Yeah. I've got, I've got every faith in Sigma. Well, we'll really find am. out I've tomorrow. Been, I've been saying this Tonight, while, though, you know, he's got to face... Watch his face with him. He's, he's going gotta, places. He's going point. places, all right. You know where he's going? In about a minute. Yeah, he's that ring, yeah. yeah. And he's going to face somebody who's very dangerous, always dangerous. Former UK wrestling television champion, yeah. former tag team champion, yeah. and maybe tomorrow the winner of the dream ticket. Please. It could well be the next <laughs> man to come out here. Should we do it? Go on, let's, let's get him out. Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is set for one fall. Introducing first. Chris Castle is not here this evening. Oh, what a shame, said nobody ever. His tag team partner is here though. Tomorrow though, there will be no friends. Only enemies. Only enemies. Representing the Empire, Johan Hunt. I've got to say, make a legend, Sheik McToom. Sheik McToom is watching Brocker. Good evening, Sheik. Oh, Sheiky baby. Hello, my friend. 
I like sheep. I like sheep. Yes, yeah, said hello, Mr. Brocco. Look, there he is. What's he say? Hello, Mr. Brocco. Hello, Mr. <laughs> there you go. Missing your pal. Chris Castle apparently is busy washing his hair tonight, uh, preparing himself for that dream ticket win tomorrow. Let him dry it tomorrow. He doesn't need to bother turning up. And introducing his opponent. While Castle is washing his hair, his tag team partner is getting ready to go in there Might with this guy. Of Sigma. <laughs> We're going to see. There we go. He's on. He's switched on. He's on fire. Always. Introducing the face of the next generation, Sigma. What's I'm done with this big bum? Are you ready I'm for this? I'm going to fight Mercer again. One Saturday, and I'm going to make it three. Mercer wants to watch his back. And then I'm going to win the bus. The youngest person to win the bus. Now there's, there's a thought, bro. There's a thought. There is some confidence from He's Sigma. More confidence. This is what I've been saying about him, you know, and I said it from the start. He just said, he just said, we didn't hear him. First, I'm going to get them with that bum in the ring. <laughs> Talking about Johan Hunt. Know, been... Then he's going to go on and beat Mercer for the third time. And then he's going to become the youngest person to ever win this dream ticket that's on our desk this evening. Be, um... That's a lot of buy a lot of fans in here tomorrow. That's a lot of promises from Sigma. It is. Yeah. Yeah. And it... A lot of promises from Sigma. But is he going to come through with them? We'll find out. He's in action right now on Friday Night Showdown against the vastly more experienced Johan Hun. Yeah, well, let's face it. Mercer's vastly more experienced as well, but well, well, look what that. happened to him. Are you love reminding Mercer of the fact that he lost to Sigma twice, don't you? You really do. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I'm just. It'd be really good if I can say it with three times. So well, maybe tomorrow we're gonna do it. Well, it's only one way know. to find out. Johan Hunt and Sigma trying to drop for position here. They're on the ropes, They're not letting go. They both got a good grip, haven't they? they have a good grip. Oh, but Sigma finally frees himself, but Johan backs the young man into the corner. Goes this for a is... shot. Oh, Sigma oh, blocked it. Sigma's oh. gonna get thrown around though. Yeah, back to his feet. Sigma comes back for more. That's it, it keep, keeps coming back all the time, but over the top rope, if that happens tomorrow, yeah. in the bash, then Sigma would have been eliminated. Yeah, that would be all over, wouldn't it? Just and like maybe, that. Maybe that's the statement he were trying to make. The maybe. aim of the game tomorrow to throw everybody over the top rope. Sigma comes back in, like, finds himself on the shoulders of Johan Hunt, but he rolls out, uppercut by Sigma. This is quick. Yeah, he is. He's <laughs> quick every time, though, isn't he? You know what I mean? shots. He if, is. If you blink, you miss him. Yep. He can Sigma go a bit. Shots and and there you go. Throws Johan Hunt over the top row. There's your second statement there of the match. Go. Again, if he does that tomorrow, Johan would have been eliminated. So it's one for one at the moment. You are more like that. No, absolutely not. If that happens to either of those two tomorrow, they have to walk back past us and go home. Exactly. That, that. is it. Exactly that. Their dream ticket is it's done. It's over for another year. Folks. Yeah. Somebody is going to win it. Sigma ducks Johan Hunt here. Sigma with a massive clothesline. Did you hear that? Did you hear it? Yeah, I did. I felt it almost. He wallop, walloped him with that clothesline. Now in the corner. Elbow after elbow. Sigma quicker than a hiccup, but Johan Hunt ducks yeah, out of the way. Oh, massive boom. Come back and got kicked straight at Kisser. That. Right, and the Kisser is right. Drop kicks him down. Sigma to the second rope. Off the ropes with a clothesline. Sigma is quick as hell. Yeah, uh, in he just. Only gets one though out of Johan Hunt there. Like you I've, said I've earlier, said, blink and you miss him. Yeah, but I, I mean, I've said it for a while. But, you know, I've seen him coming through Academy. And this is it. I just know this guy's going to go up where he's. Sigma he's said. I'm not going for him. Sigma spent six years training to get to where he is. Exactly. You know? And, and now. He's, he's enjoying every moment he's of it. Seizing it, yeah, he's mm. seizing the opportunities he's been given. And now, look at Johan Hunt though, oh, off the ropes. Johan is very, very, like we say, he's vastly more experienced than Sigma gets two. Johan <laughs> getting a little bit frustrated here, but it wasn't enough. There's more resilience, more life left in the face of the next generation here. He's, Johan he's Hunt. That. He's, he's, he do you know, he's Johan Hunt looking it. for the needy tea and he hits it. 
I know he's uh, his biggest number one fans in the audience as well somewhere. His dad's here tonight watching. Yeah, Sigmas, dad. Yeah, yeah, say, not Johan. Not, not Johan. No, no Sigmas. And they've been here from day one. That is, you know, does have a uh, big support, support network. Yeah. yeah. It's important, it carries you, it, is, you know, it yeah, makes it a helps, difference. It helps having of course, support. Of course, Johan Hunt wouldn't know what support is. No, I wouldn't have thought so. Because he doesn't he's, have much He's got more. no fans. No. Except for Chris Castle. Yeah, oh, Chris. Uh, who says, let's go Johan, show everybody. Yeah, well. You show everybody as you get clotheslined and drop off floor against well, but Castle was too busy washing his hair to show up tonight. What a shame. And what a shame indeed. Sigma all gets rolled through by Yoa. Look oh, at that oh, transition oh, by Yoa. Oh, oh, clever move, that. He's bending him out like an accordion. Sigma's Sigma fighting it. Yeah, fighting he's in the it's middle fighting. of the ring. He's trying to roll his way yeah. through this Boston crowd. Yeah, rolls go. out the other side. Frees well himself. Well Sigma chance. He's got a bit of pain in that lower back. back yeah, right oh, one more time with the clothesline. Sigma rolling yeah. again. He's good at taking Yoa off his feet, isn't he? He is, but. Like you said, he's suffering a little bit. You yeah, can tell he is. He is yeah, he's moving different now. He is moving a little Slowing bit more gingerly bit. now into the corner. Goes Johan Hunt. Sigma, but no. Lands on the second row. Look at that off the ropes oh, with a cutter. Nice. Beautiful Good from Sigma there. Now, hooks the leg. Is that it? No, Johan Hunt with a kick out. Not enough. You've got to think that Mercer is backstairs, watch, uh, downstairs watching. Yeah, sorry, be watching this. Yeah, be watching it. He and has got scouting it. One more opportunity to beat Sigma tomorrow. Even if he beats him tomorrow, he's still lost it, twice. It's still two. two oh, look at that collision! It's either three nil or two one, and it both tomorrow. colliding. Sigma and Johan Hun both down. We're on showdown still to come tonight's main event. The champs are in. Already. The champs are in, Brocker. Kirsty Love and Damian Black in action tonight against the world television champion Joe Sedgwick and Leone Rose, that's still to come. And I am going to show you the footage of what happened when Tyler Tarantino went backstage. Yeah, don't, don't forget that. After I he lost. That. After he that. lost to Kay McCarthy. That's coming up after the break. I can only imagine what that's going to be like. Some stomp attempt there. Sigma rolls through Johan Hunt. He's got him. He's got, oh, him. He's got, him. He's got him. He has got him. Oh my God. He got him. Get him. Sigma did it. Johan can't believe it. Quite frankly, neither can I. But Sigma did it again. Here is your winner. Ah. Johan Hunt is apoplectic. Oh, yeah. Oh, there from behind. Go. He can't help himself. He can't believe what just happened to him. Johan Hunt got beat. Come and on, now, Johan. oh, they are. Oh, Why? a phantom stomp. What's what a sore loser. What's up with him? This is reminiscent of what Mercer did. He just can't accept the fact that he got beat by Sigma here and now throwing oh, him over the top over rope again. again. So, so, so loser. Johan Hunt got beat by Sigma and he's left an emphatic impression on the young man. Johan Hunt heads to the Great British Bash tomorrow. He'll need to do that quite a few more times if he wants to leave. If he wants to leave with this dream ticket that's up here with us. One person will get the championship opportunity of their lives tomorrow night. We keep be popping on about it. A lot of disappointed people tomorrow. There's going to be 29 disappointed <laughs> people. Only one very happy person will leave at the end of the night. Will it be that young man there, the face of the next generation? Will it I, be Sigma? I would Why not? To do it. I really Why wouldn't. not? Oh, like I said, it is anybody's match, anybody's game this Indeed. tomorrow. The cream of the crop rise to the top tomorrow. Who is going to outlast everybody Let's else? Let's the youngest, isn't it? You Indeed. Know? Who is going to do it tomorrow? You're going to find out on pay-per-view live. Well done, kid. 6 p.m. UK time. The Great British Bash. Don't forget, six-man tag team warfare tomorrow. Warfare, that's one word, yeah. That's an understatement, <laughs> isn't it? Just, yeah. It's going to be wild. It's going to be the director, Tyler Tarantino, who you saw earlier. Uh, Uther, who you saw earlier with his shovel. And Damian Black against NR Joe. Right, I'm going to show you, Brocker, what happened when Damian Black caught up with Tyler Tarantino backstage after he lost to Cayman Carlisle. I'll show you that after this break. Don't go oh, anywhere. After the break.
We are back, it is Friday Night Showdown live from the home of UK Wrestling. We are in Batley, and earlier on in our opening contest, we saw the director, Tyler Tarantino, come up on the losing end to the collective, with Damon Carlisle. And we speculated during that match what would happen if Tyler Tarantino had to go back to Damian Black and say, sorry boss, I lost. Well... Because I'm a giving guy. You're not a bad lad, are you? No, we arranged the camera to follow Tyler Tarantino all the way backstage. I don't know what happened, but I am told. We're it's going to be out. good. Yeah. Let's press the fo- uh, press play on the footage and let's see what happened. Let's see. I can't wait for this. What the hell was that? You're all supposed to be part of the elite. You're supposed to be part of the fight squad. The best, the biggest unit you can wrestle has ever seen. And you go out there and you pull that crap. I don't care! Shut up! When I'm talking, you don't say a word! You can wait a minute! I'll deal with you when I get to you! Do you understand what I'm telling you? Do you know what this means? Do you know what this flag behind you is? Do you know why you're wearing that damn shirt? I don't expect failure. I expect people to do exactly what I tell them. These two manage it. JPR manages it! We're a team of killers! That's not just a fancy word. That's not a bad phrase. It's an order. Now I've got to go up there and I'm going to have to make an example of Joe Sedgwick and Leone Rose. And I'm going to have to hurt them a lot more. Because you have cost us standing. I've got to go up to all those idiots upstairs what the firing squad is, what their world heavyweight champion Damien Black is, and what it means to be a real killer. You want to hope you still have it. You're lucky we're just talking. But come on, guys, get up there. That. I knew it'd be worth. I knew it'd be worth being off. in there to watch that. Wow. So I knew it were coming for him. There you go. See, I'm a giving guy. You are. Thank you. And was it Thank worth you. the wait? Oh, not half. Yeah. Tyler Tarantino yeah. got it shoot out. Surprise! There. You give me last week. Anyway. Thank don't. you. There we are. We're even. Uh, Tyler Tarantino got you. <laughs> wow. I knew he wasn't going to be happy, but wow. But now, unfortunately, for Cedric and Leone, he's going to take all that anger out. Yeah, on them. well, that's the thing, isn't it? But, yeah. Uh, mm. Do you think Joe's worried? Do you think Leone's worried? Absolutely nah. not. Leone Rose tomorrow gets the chance to three peat and become women's champion for the third time. Joe Cedric in that huge six man tag against Tyler Tarantino, Damian Black, and Uther. It all comes your way, and that 30 person. British Bash tomorrow for this. For that. For this. That little dream ticket. For this little dream ticket that's not so little, it's heavy, I'll tell you. It, is it comes your way tomorrow. Get a good look at that camera guy. Comes your way tomorrow. Get your tickets now. You can still come and join us in Batley or join us on our YouTube subscription service. Tier 2 will get you access live and direct in your living room or kitchen or wherever you or want to you watch want it. To watch, yeah. You can watch it tomorrow, 5 pm UK time is the pre show, and 6 pm comes the Great British Bash. Shall we do tonight's main event? Yeah, please. Let's do it. Come on, let's find out what's going to happen. So I'm out here. Ladies and gentlemen, your main event on Friday Night Showdown is a tag team match set for one fall. One Thank you. Introducing first. <laughs> Yeah, well, fresh from telling Tyler Tarantino off, here is the champ. Being accompanied by Tyler Tarantino and Uther. Introducing the UK Wrestling Women's Champion, the Banshee Queen, Kirsty Love, and your UK Wrestling World Heavyweight Champion, the Silencer, Damian Black. Not words I'm used to saying on a Friday night, but hey, they're no, here. Not really. They're not very popular, though, are they? Absolutely not. And introducing their opponents. Can Leone Rose do it? We'll find out in just about 24 hours when we are live on pay per view one more time. Introducing first, she is the Iron Woman of UK Wrestling, Miss Leone Rose. Warmer welcome there from the fans. A little bit more of a warm, warmer reception. Yeah. She's 
not going that way, she don't fancy that way, look. You can't fault her either. Absolutely not. She's going to wait for her partner, and not just any partner. <laughs> Absolutely not. You couldn't ask for a better partner to come out with, to be fair. Not really, no. None better than our world television champion. Quite the roles is winning that belt a few months ago. He has. He's defended it a few with, times with respect. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, not afraid to. Stand and up introducing up. Leone's tag team partner. The future of the industry is in safe hands with people like this it leading is, the charge. Right? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Tomorrow he teams with NRG. Tonight he teams with Leone. UK Wrestling World Television Champion, the Prodigy, Joe Sedgwick! Joe is focused on the run of his young career at the minute, he's sitting atop the mountain as the World Television Champion, but he's in there with the World Heavyweight Champion tonight. Yeah, they've got their hands full tonight because they're in just two of them, so that's the problem. There's another two stuck inside. Indeed. No one's got his tail between his legs at the moment, hasn't he? <laughs> well, Uther on the outside. Is Tyler still there? Oh, he's still there, look. Tyler look looks him. a little bit solemn, doesn't he? Looks look at him with sulky face yeah, on. Yeah, it's like the. It's like you've just been told off by your dad. First, like a slap. Yeah, you can't say that word. Stop. Like, you know what I'm going to say. Backside. Yes, that word. Yes. There you go. I'll say the PG version. Ring the bell. Ring the bell. It's true Let's though. Go. And now the champs are in there. Look at this, Damian Black and Joe Sedgwick firing off at each other. Damian Black, <laughs> the world television champion, oh. up and over. Joe, look at the Straight lead. Over the top of his head. Oh, the stronger. Damien Black barely gets a one. Can't keep him down. Joe is the quicker. Damien Black by far the stronger. He's definitely the quicker, I would say. Is Absolutely. Joe. Joe firing back up oh, here on Damien Black. He's got a fair bit of strength on him as Joe. He has got a lot of strength. He goes to the gym, you know. He, doesn't he? No, he, he does. does yeah. Nice leap from him. Oh, and again. Gets taken down by the world heavyweight champ. Gets a one count. Crowd telling Kirsty to shut up, she's not going to do it. No, I don't None of the firing squad, think... apart from Uther, apart from Uther, you know, is... hey, oh, what's, what is Uther going? doing? Yeah, uh, what, keep your eye on him. Where's he going? Where is he going? Where is he going? Uh, bye, Uther. Bye. Where is he going? I don't know. Oh, no, he's coming back around the other side. Oh, it's just oh the only road sees him. The only has got to be careful. What's he got? He's got the belt. He's pinched the belt. He's pinched. Is that Joe Cedric's belt? It is. It is. What's he pinched that for? I don't know. What is Uther doing? He's, oh, Cedric. I think he's just trying to distract him. I think he is. is. Joe Cedric hasn't noticed yet. Takes down Damian Black, but Uther's got Joe's belt. Drop kick by nice Leone Rose. Leone's Leone. legal. This could be all over. Two, no. Oh. Damian Black kicks out, and Cedric comes around and looks and looks for his belt. Usa has it over his shoulder. I don't, I don't think it matters. It. What is it with people stealing belts around here? Well, it's only where they can get them, isn't it? Some... Oh, and now look in the ring. We've got the two ladies who are going to go at it tomorrow for the belt, the Women's Championship. Side rush and leg sweep. Oh, you missed. The only missed the kick. Kirsty Love looks for a suplex here. Oh, and gets it. The only back on the feet. Look at that. Look at that. She's kicked by Rose. She is focused. Very That's focused. Tell you what, though, tonight. Kirsty Love has had that belt for 272 days. She's not tomorrow, going to let go of it. No, Leone is going to have to be more than focused tomorrow. They're both trading off with the slugs here now. Look at this. It's looking away. It's There's a lot of pride between these two. There is a lot, but she's in the wrong corner now. Not bragging look. rights, yeah. Damien Black she's is back in. Know. I heard the tag. Cedric is back in as well. All four of them going at it here on Friday Night Showdown. This could end message tonight, you know. Could. This is just 24 hours before the bash. Oh Reversal on the firing squad. Oh. Boots to the midsection. Both kicks on the go. Oh. Synchronicity. 
between Cedric and Leone Rose. Firing squad regrouping on the outside here. Like having yeah, a, they're a, having a bit of a conflict. A bit of a conference, yeah. Right having a bit of a team talk. Well, not if you're Ruth, though, because he doesn't say anything, but it, the rest of them are. It's, he do not say very much, does he? But I think he causes more trouble for everyone. Oh, this is it. Now, Leone Rose and Kirsty Love one on one again. Kirsty Love with another arm drag by Leone Rose. Two arm drags in a row there for him. Women's champion in a bit of trouble here on Showdown. Ooh, last yes. thing Kirsty Love wants to do is lose to the person she's facing tomorrow, right? No, she's not going to want that loss tonight for definite. Mm, the kicks in the back. back. It'll do and the confidence of Leone. A world of good. Yeah. Two and a half. So close, so close. So close, but so far away. Keep on it, Leone. Kirsty Love will do anything possible to hold on to well, that women's championship. She's now holding on to that rope at the moment. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Reverses Leone. Oh, look at uh, that from behind. And, and, and I'm sure that were an air pull too. Yeah, referee didn't see that. We'll see yeah, which really way. Clever, the firing squad are hiding things at referees. Indeed. We'll find out who's going to come out on top. This tag team match continues. Showdown is back in a mo. We're back. It is Friday Night Showdown live from Batley. It's Brett Hadley and Red Rocco at ringside. And Kirsty Love, Leone Rose, Joe Sedgwick and Damian Black going at it in tonight's tag team main event. Less than 24 hours before the great British bash. Kirsty Love defends that belt against Leone tomorrow. While Joe Sedgwick goes in there with his mates NRG against... The firing squad, Damian Black, Uther and Tyler Tarantino, who are on the outside of the ring at the moment. They are. Big um, Irish whip. Leon is in a bit of trouble. Leone yeah, is in trouble. The world heavyweight champion, Damian Black, in there now. Oh, oh well. Leone on the outside is. Oh, look at Uther and, and Tarantino. Yeah, Central. Not going to let them get away with it as he shouldn't. But, but oh, look at Kirsty's that! He's got on a jaw. And the hair of Sedgwick. And this is and what the referee's we keep saying. Missing all. Yeah. It's just so clever by Damian Black. It is clever. It's not. It's not a good way, is it? Let's no, but it is it. smart. It's but it is smart. what we've. It's what we've come to expect. Come on, ref, turn around, son. Does the referee need to borrow my glasses, do you think? I think he needs to. Why is he like, checking yeah. the boots of Damien Black? Why does he focus on what's going on out well, there? Well, Damien's asked him to run in. Uh, you don't like it, but it's smart tactics by the firing squad. It's smart, but very, very devious, very dirty. It's very shady, that's what it is. Definitely shady. Oh, Shoulder tackle on. by the champs she here. didn't have a chance there at all, did she? Come on, you need to get out now, Mr Black. Come on. Out goes Damien Black. He had till five. Joe trying to rally troops. Yeah, he's rallying this crowd behind. And they are behind him anyway, you know what I mean? They always will be, but... Always. Is it enough? Can the only way to get back in this? Tonight's main event on Showdown. I, I do believe it all results. A few cheers for you, you know. Oh, oh did you hear that? Not half. Not half. I'm, I'm sure um, they only felt it. Should sure still feel that in the morning as that, well. That'll still be red tomorrow. Yeah, not half pop figures. Not half pop oh, figures. Wow. <laughs> There's a blast from the past. All right, pop oh, figures. Come on, not half. And, she's twisting uh, her hair out. That. Her that's, yeah, that's, I mean, this is wrong. just wrong, and she's in the wrong corner as well. The only is in a lot of trouble I think, here. I think there's another. Oh. It's an elbow right to the face. Kirsty no. Love in control of her opponent oh, come on now. for tomorrow, now taunting Go Sedgwick, again. but look at, look at Damien it's Black, the, it's worked that hasn't it, of course it has, got, it's got look at that, back in the ring. doing jumping jacks, what arrogance, it's out of order, out of order, like a, yeah I can't say what I want to say that, but you yeah, it's out of order, go yeah. for it, you say what you feel, you still swear, now I get taken off air, <laughs> Oh, oh, chop again. Ow. The Stinging. The, the just on point every time, them chops. It's what Leone's going to face tomorrow. It's what she's going to overcome if she wants to be three time women's champion. Yeah, she's going to have to do it. She's going to have to, she's going to, have to work do it the hard way, isn't yeah. she? Really, yeah. yeah. It's not going to be easy for her at all. 
especially if Clown Squad come out with it. The what? The Clown Squad. The Clown oh, the Squad. Fire squad sorry, Did you just say Clown I Squad, say Rocker? Clown Mr. Squad, Mr. Yeah. Impartial General Manager yeah, here. That's me. Yeah, that's right. Kirsty tags back in. The World Heavyweight Champion here comes Damien Black. Kirsty loves setting up Leone Rose one more time. Another back elbow here. Right. Really punishing now. Cedric can't do anything about it. Leone though, still finding a way out. And she's got so much fight in her hands. She? So, yeah. you know, she's always going to try. We know she is one of the most resilient people. She is the Iron Woman for a reason. It's not just a nickname I gave her for random. Not, not just a little title. No, absolutely not. Oh, is it? She's well and truly earned it, but Damien Black just mowing over. Damien just went through a light there, and she wasn't even there, didn't it? Indeed. Now back to the firing squad corner goes Leonie Rose. Back in comes the women's champion. You do not want to miss the Great British Bash. Who is going to punch their dream ticket to the chance of a lifetime tomorrow. Well, somebody's going to be lucky enough to take Somebody it Somebody is going to do it. Somebody is going to take the prize that sat on our desk this evening, the UK Wrestling Dream Ticket, and get a championship opportunity when they want as Leone Rose is firing Strike back here. Yeah. Strike, you know. Now, look at that. Oh, both of them. Both of them. Had the same idea. Cedric making some noise as the crowd are too. Can Leone Rose recover and tag in the world television champion here? She's starting to stir. Can she get across the ring? NRG, Hamza and Mo and Joe Cedric go to war tomorrow with Damian Black and those two men on the outside, Uther and Tyler Tarantino. But Leone Rose gets the tag. She's in. She's in. Cedric is in. Five shoulder tackle. And another. Cedric is fresh and hungry and on fire. He's going to pick up the world heavyweight champion for a suplex. Cedric's all fired up. Just shows how much strength Joe's got, doesn't it? Joe is deceptively strong up and over he goes. So Damien Black puts the brakes on. Back in. Cedric goes up. Watch your back. He's on the high risk district. Massive shot off the top row. Is he going to pin him? No. Kirsty Love. If it had been for Kirsty, then it were over. And look at Kirsty pulling Damien yeah, Black trying to get back out to the corner. That's smart. Come on. Kirsty Love is back in. Cedric is still legal. Oh, she chops Cedric around the chest, picks him up over her shoulders. What's she going to do with him? Goodbye. Oh, flat on his face. The beautiful facial features of Joe Cedric. Oh, God, is that it? No! Oh, out. Two and a bit. Two and more than a bit. Cedric's facial features got rearranged on the canvas there. It'll certainly be stinging right now, won't it? Yeah. Kirsty Love and the World Television Champion, the legal participants. Don't go too close there, Joe. You're in endangered territory with them two. Uh, Uther and Tarantino up on the outside. Damien's not got back up yet, like, so he's not no, much of a threat. his light's dimmed. Leaving Kirsty Love to take care of Joe Cedric, but Cedric fires back. Ooh, chinza. <laughs> chinza one and more again. time, and again. Cedric sends Kirsty Love off the ropes. No, nope, reversal Switches by the women's it. champ. And he stops himself. Cedric puts, puts on the brick. Cedric he tags in Leone. Oh, oh, she gets that kick in. She kicked, that's it. Kirsty Love oh. is out. But no, hang on. Kirsty Love. Wait a minute. Oh, he's pulled the referee out. Look at Uther. The death drop. Leone's got this one rocker, but the referee's been pulled out. One, two, three, three four. Stop. She could count to 100 at this point. The referee got pulled out by Uther. Leone had the wrong. women's champion beaten this there. So, oh, wait a minute. Damien Black is going to get one as well. Oh, no. Oh, no Black is in. Oh, not the oh. silence. Oh, right on ahead. Leone Rose got dropped with the silence of Cedric. Joe's, Joe's back in. It's behind Damien Black. Joe Cedric ducks under. Drop kick. Drop kick Damien Black is in the drop oh, zone. Cedric is going to go up. Cedric is going to hit it. No, Damien Black out of the way. Oh, the oh. bell. Cedric got tattooed with the bell. And I think it was his own bell. Oh, look at this. Kirsty Love is going to knee oh, right in the oh. face. Oh, this is daylight robbery, Brocco. No, not wrong. Oh, this stinks. It hurts me to ring the bell. Let's do it. 
Oh, come on now, look at Tarantino. Oh, look, crawling there. What a snake. Look, we've done it, boss, we've done it, boss. Oh, this stinks. Here are your winners, the team of UK Wrestling Women's Champion, Kirsty Love, and the World Heavyweight Champion, Damian Black, the Firing Squad. What did they have to do to get it? They had to knock the referee out, hit Sedgwick with the bell, and then knock out the only rose to get a victory. Loosely known as playing dirty. Four on two it was, that's what it was. That was wrong, that was so wrong. They don't do anything fairly, but... Well, that's it, and this is what I keep saying. If they come out on their own, they don't all have said well for them in a match. Yeah, but when but they come out more banded like this, and they, they cheat the way through things... Well, then tomorrow... They the result they want. Tomorrow, so they, Brocco... Is it, we, we, <laughs> well, it is for them, because they keep on winning. It, yeah, but it's not, it's not good. I know, it? I know, but it proves successful. I, like it, I know, yeah. but that is the way it is at the minute. Until somebody can stop them. Tomorrow, it Leone Rose gets her chance to stop Kirsty Love and become three time women's champion. And Joe Sedgwick, Hansen Masoa, and Momentum, and or Joe, as you will, take on Damian Black, Tyler Tarantino, and Utha tomorrow. Can the firing squad be silenced by the uprising of NR Joe, or will the firing squad's oh, dominance man. continue? It's still going. Oh, I don't know, you can sleep nights the way you do it, to be fair. Oh, they do it every single time. They are draped in gold. They are the leaders of the UK wrestling world at the moment. I suck. I suck. Damien Black, Uther, Tyler Tarantino and Kirsty Love leaving a lasting impression on Friday Night Showdown tonight. Tomorrow though it's a new day, Brock Rocco. Thank God for that, yeah. And it is the day of the Great British Bash. Make sure you join us to see if Leonie Rose can beat Kirsty, to see if NR Joe can conquer the firing squad and to find out who is going to walk out of Batley. Who is going to leave with this? The UK Wrestling Dream Ticket contract. Who is going to punch their title opportunity right in the face? Tomorrow, one person is going to outlast 29 others and win this. Who's it going to be, Brocco? I don't know. I don't uh, know I, either. I, I, I can't. I, do you know what? I think... <laughs> We're going to find out. I so, I think, but... Don't do it. Yeah, Don't say a word. Say, we'll say, find out tomorrow. We hope to see you there. We'll see you at the Great British Bash. For Red Brocco, I am the voice for it. Have saying good night. We'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Thanks for joining us.